Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, and I am here with Heather McAllen, who's the executive director at Furnace Town, and we are standing right in front of this magnificent furnace. Hi, Heather. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Now, tell us a little bit about Furnace Town. I know a lot of people say to me, I've never been there. So tell us a little bit about well, what they have to come. Here. Because it's an absolutely gorgeous place. Furnace Town was established in 1828. That's when the furnace became um, an idea. It was built between 1828 and 1830. So you're looking at a furnace that took about two years to build all by hand. So we are at Furnace Town, which I should say is in the middle of the Pocomoke River State Park, mm -hmm. in or just outside of Snow Hill. Correct. And you are open. We're open from April 1st to October 31st. After October 31st, we ask that you call and make reservations for a tour and we'll open for you. So what will people see here? Lots Let's of things. Let's take them through a little sure. mini tour. Yeah, oh. absolutely. So first we have uh, our artisans here and our artisans are absolutely wonderful. We have a blacksmith here who I'm sure you can hear banging in the background working away. We also have um, a weaver who is working on a 300 year old loom. We have a gardener here as well, and he does everything organic. So if you're ever interested in anything organic and how they would have done it in the 1850s and in that time period, he knows all about that. And we also have a broom maker, and the broom maker is also amazing. She makes everything by hand, of course, but it's the corn broom. So it's a great, it's, they're great brooms. And I <laughs> saw a lot of these things in the visitor center, so people can actually buy them. You can buy them. If em. they want to. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Reasonably priced. Now, tell us a little bit about, you know, how long you've been here, because there's really no excuse for people not to have been here. No, especially <laughs> if you're from this area, you have to come through here. Again, it's a beautiful place. We've been here about 30 years. Wow. Um, so we've made a lot of different changes throughout the time. We have uh, buildings here that we didn't have, obviously, coming in, and where we work off of grants, and we work off of also admissions and things like that. So we have a lot of different things that we've brought in over these past 30 years. We have a house, the Harrison House, which was donated to us, and that's a house that kind of shows you what life would have been like here for the everyday worker. And you have that beautiful historic church. You do weddings. We do. We do weddings here. Beautiful weddings can be done here because you have the furnace, and you can go down to the furnace and get married, which a lot of people opt to do, or up at the And there's church. a nature trail, so if mm -hmm. you don't have enough nature here, you can take the nature trail, <laughs> which is on the Nature Conservancy property. Absolutely. It's beautiful. Paul, tell yes. us a little bit about some of the events coming up or your sure. big event coming up. Our big event is our Celtic Festival, which is the first full weekend in October, October 6th and 7th. Lots of activities going on. Thousands of people come through here to see Furnace Town and to see the different activities. We also have um, September the 15th, Saturday, September 15th, is a fun bike ride, Iron Furnace 50 fun ride. Great. So there's no excuse anymore to get out. You have to come and experience this beautiful place in the middle of the state forest. Furnace Town is really a gem for Worcester County. So come on out and visit us. Thank you, Heather, Thank so much you. for Very taking much. the time today sure. to be with us. Thank you.